Hey everybody, D Dog, Dave Raw for Dynamic Rainmakers. April 25th, that's a Monday. Monday, Monday, get your week started doing courier work. Monday, Monday, Monday. Well, I've uh, had a busy weekend. Uh, Bonnie was able to get the Jeep in to have it really looked at. Yikes, I have to get the injectors replaced. Getting all six of them replaced. Not cheap, but you know, got to get it done. Got to maintain your vehicles. Uh, so it's going to be what, six hundred bucks? Yikes! <laughs> but hey, that's just part of it. Of this whole thing, you have vehicle expenses. You know, I have over one hundred seventy-eight thousand miles on this Jeep right now, and it's it's probably past time for something like that to to be taken care of anyway. Um, so that's the main thing that's going on. Uh, we had a snowy day yesterday, rainy, snowy. Uh, it wasn't too bad today. It's just cool right now, 55. And it's supposed to go up into the 70s tomorrow on Tuesday. <laughs> so we get all sorts of things going on here in Colorado during this time of year. Last week it was really bad winds. This week it's going to be just on and off winds, hopefully. Uh, we had a lot of grass fires and stuff going on that did not help driving. But hey, that's something else that happens too. You have to drive through this stuff. Um, like I said last week, I got my applications in for master courier contracts and uh, just trying to get my courier service going. Still uh, hoping to hear from people that want to become drivers in Colorado. Uh, this, these. Uh, things I'm looking at are all over Colorado not just uh, Colorado Springs uh, starting to, I looked at a van this weekend uh, unfortunately it had way too much interior damage to it it wasn't worth it it would have been too much to fix it up it had a hole through uh, the inside <laughs> by the rear by the wheel wells and it was just a mess rice was good condition sucked uh, so that's really what's been going on with the vehicle side of the house and the contract side of the house. Uh, today is a sh relatively short, just a basic 11 runs today. Since that one group uh, that's always closed on Mondays is closed on Mondays. So it'll make my route a little bit shorter. Not too much, but a little bit shorter. Um, so... I have a little bit more leeway getting home now for my 9 to 5 since I have a co-worker now. They kind of pick up for me. That's good. I was able to work that out with them. So we'll see how that goes. Um, really not too much. Uh, just doing the normal type of samples to get into this stuff. Um, I do have to take more training as it turns out. And that's, that's just doing stuff for the year. It's no big deal. Um, more uh, HIPAA-like stuff, which is kind of interesting in this environment, since we don't haul any type of human samples. It's just kind of odd having to do something similar in the animal side, but it happens. Um, <clears throat> got some leads on uh, training for... TSA stuff. I'm going to try to figure out how to set up a, a training program and some other programs so I can actually apply for a TSA agent. So I become a master agent. People will be able to get their TSA clearances under me. That's, that's one of the main things. There's some other programs I need to check out. For people that are doing the wanting to do the medical stuff, getting some training for that set up. So the whole thing is uh, a lot of training, uh, records management, things of that nature. Uh, also keeping track of all the stuff on the drivers on their vehicles. Uh, looking into actual business insurance as the business itself, uh, not on the vehicle but on the on the business. Uh, I do have a basic thing right now, but that's not going to cover it once I expand out. So those are the type of things I'm, I'm working with right now. Uh, just doing this vlog to kind of just 
bring you up to speed on what's going on. <clears throat> I got some more leads, potential things to check into for uh, state-based government contracts. And as that comes together, I, I'll let you know it's, that's a really arduous process, it turns out. Um, there's a lot of different things you can move, and as it makes it more challenging, because each contract is a specific type of things you'll be moving, uh, so that makes it more challenging. I'm hoping that, you know, most people can just use their cars for this if they want to, but that's one of the reasons I'm looking into a van is because you need at least one or two vans in the grouping to make the, the larger things uh, move that are in totes, uh, especially if you're using uh, totes for medical supplies that are mixed with uh, scripts and things like that. Uh, it's not really the same as refrigeration, it's just a tote, but uh, you still have to keep your eyes on stuff temperature wise um, I did move some things for a company they were uh, surgical implants for like joints and stuff surgical pins and they require specialized things to be shipped in they usually provide it you don't have to but you have to make sure these things are kept in order because they have seals on them uh, that have to be maintained throughout the entire process that you're involved in. So the seals don't get accidentally broken or compromised. Um, and there's some other things I'm gonna be checking out, uh, trying to snag some uh, competition stuff away. <laughs> Hopefully I'm able to do that. It's not to be mean, but I just wanna keep things moving. That's the area where I'm gonna need a van. Uh, Cause they're, they're very large coolers that are filled with Specialized, they're not medical or anything samples, but they're specialized samples. I won't get into it too much detail, but uh, things like that. Uh, trying to get some other state based licensing done so I can haul some other special things. Uh, they're not really considered hazmat, but they're, they're uh, high value cargo. It's not very, not very much in the way of volume, but the value is high. Uh, so I'm looking into that uh, and some other local things. So really, the, you know, the thing you got to do is start looking at local stuff because there's more out there than you can think of, really. It's not, it's not really too hard to find these things. It's just a matter of getting out there, going on a Google search, seeing if, what type of businesses are out there that you may be interested in, um, you know, just things like that. I want to uh, try to find some really good dispatch software that will allow me to know where the drivers are at any given time so I can reroute them, have, have the dispatcher reroute them to get more loads so it'll make it easier for everybody. Uh, I've seen an example of that, and that's what my, uh, the last company I worked for uh, had uh, and it worked. It was really, it was really efficient. So that's just some general stuff today. Not too much is going on, and uh, I'm not going to have these videos too regularly because it's just I'm running out of ideas to talk about. People are uh, leaving any comments. If you want me to talk about a topic area, please leave some comments and also like share and subscribe because those things help build this channel. I have a few new subscribers coming in so I really appreciate that. I appreciate new subscribers coming in especially if they start asking questions and leaving comments that helps a lot. So I'll be talking to you guys later and have a good rest of the week or at least until the next time I talk to you. Bye!